Now, during their interrogation, terrorists Osama and Zishan have made some startling revelations. The terrorists told the investigators that they were taught to handle AK-47 assault rifles and make explos explosives from any available chemicals. The duo was also taught to target trains and railway bridges with explosives. They were also taught to attack crowded places to inflict maximum damage on human life. The terrorists were also shown videos of Gujarat, Mumbai and Northeast Delhi riots to brainwash them about atrocities against Muslims. Investigating agencies will carry out more uh, detailed investigations after verifying the details that have been given by these terrorists. Humed ur rahman who is a relative of Osama, one of the terrorists arrested by the special cell surrendered in Uttar Pradesh's Prayagraj on Friday. He is now being taken to Lucknow. A joint team of Maharashtra ATS and Mumbai Police Crime Branch has taken a person into custody from Jogeshwari area of the city in connection with the terror module busted by Delhi Police earlier this week. A crucial high-level security meeting of the ATS chief, SOG, the Special Operations Group and Intelligence Agencies of 11 states was held at the Delhi Police headquarters yesterday. My colleague Shreya is in fact now joining me live on this story. Shreya, give us more details. What have these terrorists revealed during their interrogation? Well, uh, the first and the most crucial update is that uh, eight arrests have so far now been made in this case. Two more uh, was arrested yesterday. One is Humaydu Rahman, who is the uncle of uh, Osama Safi, who is the one who's gone to Pakistan and also He's the one who had sent Zishan to Pakistan uh, from where they had got the training. The other person who has been nabbed by the Mumbai uh, ATS uh, is Zakir. Now, he has a direct link with the underworld, we're being told. And he was the one who actually uh, was passing on uh, the um, messages to the other arrested person, Mohammed, uh, uh, the, the person Salim. Uh, mm -hmm. who is also Anadi allies of uh, Anis Ibrahim. Now, very clearly, the interrogation so far has revealed that there was a plan of serial blasts. Repeat of 1993 is uh, what they have been planning. Maximum damage, and they were radicalized by showing uh, videos uh, of that of the Delhi riots as well as the Gujarat riots is what also we picked up from our sources. Now, more interrogation uh, will uh, continue, especially about the recovery of the ID that happened in uh, Uttar Pradesh, because that is something that the Delhi police is now looking into, how that uh, reached over there. Most sleeper cells might still uh, be in the lookout, because that was something that was also revealed by these people, that there were uh, sleeper cells who had actually helped them procure these explosives that uh, the Delhi police had recovered. Remember, 1.5 kg of RDX is what was uh, made as a part of the recovery. Right. Shreya Chatterjee there with all of those details as part of that ongoing investigation. Now, after busting a Pakistan-backed terror module, a major high-level security meet was held in the national capital. Yesterday, it is chief of 11 states, SOGs and intelligence agencies took part in the meeting. Here's more on that. Six terrorists on a mission to carry out multiple attacks in the country. Backed by their Pakistan handlers, getting directions from none other than Pakistan's intelligence agency, the ISI. But before they could inflict any damage, India's alert security agencies nabbed them. A crucial high-level anti-terror meet took place in the national capital. States are on highest alert after proof of Pakistan module being spread in many states emerged. Delhi Police Commissioner, Special Commissioners of Special Cell, Intelligence, Vigilance, Law and Order, Anti-Terror Squads, Chiefs of 11 states along with Special Operations Groups, officials of RAW, IB and NIA took part in the high-profile security meet. The purpose of the meeting was clear, analysing Pakistan's Bleed India conspiracy. The focus was also on ensuring better coordination between state police and intelligence units, advisory and alert related to terror and intelligence of all states. They also discussed ISI-trained terror module and the threat after Taliban takeover in Afghanistan. With Anisha Mathur, Bureau Report, India Today.